Hello, welcome to another video. Me, Simon. There's Danny. And we are walking along the A5, Snowdonia. And we're going to take a hike up to Penelgadi today. Take a hike to the summit. And then we're going to drop down to Funon Chligui. And hopefully do a wild camp by there tonight. As you can probably hear on the camera, very windy. And it's going to be even windy up there, so... We're going to walk down here now. Pick up the path. And make our way all the way up the ridge to the summit. And then drop down to the lake. Sideways. To stop for a breather. And this wind is absolutely brutal. And it's like, yeah, God. This one forecast, I'm sure of it. Said the report. 
Messing my head up. <laughs> One good thing, though, it's good to be in front of Danny. Might be able to see him in the distance coming up now. So, yeah, have a little breather. We'll get to the summit then at Penna Helgadi. Awesome, great hike. Not far off the summit now. The summit is just over that brow there. That mountain here is Carnev Cluelin. That's Carnev Daviv. Penrol win. Again. Trevan. You got Glidervach just tucked in behind it. If you look down there, you just about to see the lake. And that's where um, we're going to camp tonight. Summit, it's just up there. We've dropped down a couple of feet to this little ridge, and that's where we're heading somewhere down there to pitch up. But we're going to walk along this little ridge. You can probably see the green path in the distance. I could go down there about halfway and then cut down to the bottom. Well, that's the plan anyway. Here he is, Chris Bonington. <laughs> this is the shears. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, now. Go to go that door. On. That's all right. Yeah, that way. That's it. You've done the bloody splits, then. Happy days. And now we're back on the top. Easy peasy, Dan. Say <laughs> inside, parts of Trifan aren't much worse than this. That's a wicked boat, man. I love all that. Kind of Cluelin. 
there's a bit there where it's proper little scramble. See the rock face? See where the path hits the rock face? Yeah. yeah. A nice little scramble there. About 30 metres, I reckon. Nice little scramble. That's where we came from. A little bit scrambly, nothing too technical. The lake with the B50, uh, with the Canberra 57 plane is just over that ridge. Oh, is it? Then the lake just there below the summit. Ah, cool. Come up over the gate, yeah, or through the maze, yeah, and then you just go off. As you can see, that there is the summit of Penahelgadi, which in English means the peak of the black hunting dog. Is that right? Give our man a cigar. Spot on. I'm always right. Just going to show you where we come from. From up there, down, follow the path around, and you come to this junction here, and then it's just a case of walking down and following the path down to the lake, then. Just show you where we are. We come from up there, across, down the path, follow the path all the way around, and we found this spot. Have a look at this. Nice and flat. And look at those views. Bloody brilliant. Awesome spot that is. Hi! <laughs> so we'll give it a half hour and start pitching up I reckon. Yeah man. What do you reckon Simon? Uh, Don't sound uh, too excited like. I think he needs a hug. <laughs> All the tents are pitched, and I tell you what, I've never pitched a tent in wind like that before. 35 kilometers, absolutely blowing a gale, and we managed to pitch three tents, but on every one we've had to put stones and rocks on every peg and every guy out. And the, the ground is pretty solid, so we had to use a rock to bang the pegs in as well. But we checked the weather and tonight the 
forecast is going to get down to well the wind's going to get down to 15 kilometers so hopefully See how it goes. I'll just show you the tents we're using tonight. I got the tab tent scarf one. As usual. And Simon hasn't got his foul raven tonight. He's lent my Fango Nevis 200. But he's taking a bit of a battering in the wind. You see all the side caving in there like Let's have a look at Danny's tent. You got the nature hike cloud peak too, innit? Yeah, that's right. Not a bad tent that then, is it? Very spacious and more than happy with it to be honest, like. As you've probably seen all through this video, the wind's been uh, horrendous today on all through the hike. Yeah, you can see it on the way. Um, it's meant to drop later, the wind. Fingers crossed. So I just sat in here for a couple of minutes. Just try and get warmed up a bit. And, um, yeah. The only thing different to my kit this time is my sleeping bag. Because normally I've been using my, uh, my goose down bag. But it's, it's quite heavy so I thought to save on weight. I'll bring my uh, synthetic bag. It's the um, OEX Evolution Fabrin EV400. It's quite a lot lighter than the uh, down bag, like I, like I said. So uh, just hope I'm warm enough tonight. We will see. Back in the tent now. Danny and Simon are in their tents. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning, welcome back to camp. And as you can hear, it's still windy. It's been windy most of the night, haven't it? Yeah, um, we didn't get much sleep, put it, put it that way. <laughs> I'll just show you around. Danny's in there making a coffee. I think Simon's doing the same. So it looks like we're all having coffee and a porridge and start packing down then. As you can see, all the mountains are covered in flag. I think it might lift later. At the moment, it's so windy. The views are non existent, but uh, it's still a good night, all the same. On a great camping spot.
right, we're all fed and watered. We're gonna start packing down now. Danny's almost done. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so Simon, get your ass in gear. Let's get let's get moving. Right. Got packed down and see you later. Thanks to Danny for coming along to this one. Thanks, Dan. Always a pleasure. The weather haven't changed much. Not flaggy, windy. But we've had a great night. As always, leave no trace. That's the tents we're going to see you on the next video.